Hi everyone, and welcome to lesson number 19. My name is Michael Geddes. A lot of students that I work with here in Richmond, Virginia, come to me after being extremely frustrated trying to learn the guitar online and from online teachers. And when I take a look at some of the lessons that these teachers are presenting, who profess and advertise to take you step by step, in my opinion, they're taking you way too fast and way sooner than you're ready to be playing at this point. Why they do that? Perhaps because they don't know how to teach you those specific skills, or perhaps they don't have faith in you that you have the ability, um, the time, and the patience to learn those specific skills. My lessons will take you step by step and will teach you very specific skills and teach you the strengthening exercises to develop those skills so that in the long run, you will have developed a real strong foundation and you'll be able to grow quicker as a guitar player with a lot less frustration. So I gave the talk in the first clip to sort of prepare you for what's coming up now. So this lesson is about teaching you to begin how to strum and sing at the same time, okay? And this is a process that's also step-by-step, step, but it's gonna take patience on your part and listening to my directions very carefully, okay? So the first thing you need to do is to begin to listen to the song a lot. I've provided a link down below. The song is Who Stopped the Rain by Credence Clearwater is the band, and the man who wrote the song is um, John Fogarty. So you need to listen to that song. This song is your study, and you need to get that song in your head, in your ear, as much as you possibly can. It's a relatively easy song to play. This is why I start my students on it, and they're usually very successful with, the, with this song and the process I'm gonna introduce. So the next thing, step two, is that you're going to Google the lyrics and either print them out in your notebook and leave plenty of space between lines so that we can put chords in above the lyrics, okay? And pr print them out by hand if you're gonna do that in poetry form, okay? It, or preferably copy those lyrics and then print them out on your computer. But if you print them out, print them out, font 18, skip lines, and if it fills up two pieces of paper, the better, because it's easier to see that way. And then you can follow my directions in, in one of the upcoming clips when I present how you're going to begin to sing to the lyric. Okay, I'll talk more about that soon. So you need to review the chords, E minor, G, C, D, and A minor. Those are the chords you're gonna be needing to learn how to play, Sw start switching them as fast as you possibly can, and then follow, follow the directions in the next clip. So what we're looking at now is the chord chart that I've written out for you to the song Who Stopped the Rain. So you'll notice each chord has four little dashes above it, and that means a strum. So for example, the intro, you'll do four Gs, another four Gs, E minor four times, and again four times, and G four times, and G four times, okay? So every chord you play in this song, you're gonna strum four times. Every time you see a chord, you're gonna, try, you're gonna strum four chords evenly as possible, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is to start, I'm gonna play the introduction and I'm gonna kind of sing through the first verse so you can see how the chords work and I'm gonna kind of talk you through it as well, okay? When you play it, try not to pause because I'm trying to explain it to you. You wanna eliminate the pauses. I'll explain more about that in a second. But here we go. So here's the intro. The tempo of the song is about like this. I went down like that, here we go. Intro. G's again verse I went down Virginia seeking shelter from the storm caught up in the fable I watched the tower grow 
good men through the ages trying to find the sun and I Jesus. And let's go through it one more time. I'm not going to sing this time. The second verse will be exactly like the first verse, and you'll, you know, at some point you'll be singing to it. So the second verse would be without me singing, will be like this. Here we go. Verse two. <laughs> Two E minors and two G's. Okay, now the bridge, you'll notice looking at the chart that when you see the bridge, you'll do two C's, two G's, four D's, two A minors, two C's, four E minors, and two G's. Verse, just like you did the first, the second, the third verse will be exactly the same as the first and second verse. You'll end the song with the introduction like this. E minor. Slow it down a little bit, maybe. And one chord again. Now, don't get real fancy with the chords, okay? Keep it strum, single strum, down, 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 down. Get that right hand working really nice. Try to include all, all of the, 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 the notes, all of the strings in each chord. So like for the G chord, you're strumming six. For the C, you're strumming five, remember? The D, you'll be strumming four. A minor, you'll strum five. And for the E minor, you'll strum six strings. So your job, until I see you again in the next lesson, is to practice that chord chart, okay? Learn all those chords backwards and forwards and start changing them as quickly as you possibly can. A good exercise to work on that aspect of changing your chords is just practice them with the left hand. Leave the right hand out, leave the strum out, and just practice them like this. G, E minor, A minor, D, C. Switch them around, back and forth just the left hand and then maybe once you've done that for four or five hours no i'm just kidding um then you can add a nice strum like like that okay so take your time fumble through this if you have to that's what it takes to get things working correctly with a lot of the process and learning a new song or a new piece fumbling through it first, fumbling through again, and little by little you begin to unfumble and it starts to sound pretty decent. So that's your job this week. My name is Michael Geddes. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks for being here and I'll see you at lesson number 20 and I'll teach you how to sing the song and change the chord on a specific lyric, which is the process that really makes this process a lot easier in the long run. Thanks for being here.